Hi guys and welcome back to part five of the de Havland 108 vampire build and uh, things are hotting up. I put the servos in. I didn't film that on part four but I've hot glued them in. I found some extension leads the perfect length so I didn't have to cut the cable in the end. So they're routed and flew into the area that I said I was going to use and I've got the first piece of sheeting ready to go on just there. I'm aiming to try and get this completely sheeted uh, this evening but we'll see how we get on and just like to say hello to Chris Sheed although it's Friday we're not going to have a Friday feeling from Chris and he's watching me on the camera over there well I'm recording it but he's going to see it in a minute uh, Lee had a heart attack honestly anything to get out the Friday feeling and uh, he's currently in hospital but he's had stent fitted and he's going to recover so yeah we look forward to uh, seeing Chris back on one of these Fridays so anyway I'll bend you down and we'll crack on with the model cheers guys I have that pegged up in the corner overnight I damped it and uh, the idea was to bend it around a little bit because it was quite a bit of a as you can see I've got a nice little curve going on down to that corner so and this is uh, 330 second I don't know what how many millimeters that is 2.8 or something 2.5 but I wanted the deeper because I've got 130 second on the bottom but I've got to have the deeper one on the top because the rib is a little bit higher and uh, obviously I don't want to dip and also it doubles because it fills up the gap here against the stringer which is rather nice so when I cover it I can cover it down to there Ho hopefully that will be enough actually with hindsight perhaps I should have extended this string all the way down it's not too late I might just do that anyway just to give make sure and give me something to uh, attach the cover into so I don't want it pulling off just there so uh, yeah there we go uh, I don't see why I couldn't glue that in there but I'll just wait a minute just get the next piece in I think the way I'm going to do it is to yes is to just get the angle right on the top then I can butt join it on a nice straight edge there although having said that I think this is actually my cut edge looks pretty straight let's just test it one of the things that um, was mentioned on part four was that people enjoy listening to my uh, thought processes because I sort of build these things as I go don't I so I sort of think about it on camera but it it does um, soak up the minutes quite a lot when you're trying to produce a video which is um, shows more than it probably does if you know what I mean I don't know what I mean so let's just as somebody else said it might have been uh, Mark Croucher um, it's it's nice to be able to let me play in uh, listen to me playing on the telly while he's in another room or something might have been you mark i can't remember so i'm just going to mark that up and i think that might be chris answering me because I, I filmed the intro to this didn't i on the on the video with on the other, this camera so have a look yeah it is I, I said to Chris um, it would be might be useful to have um, a, some sort of uh, balsa extractor or balsa sucker as he's got because he's got a uh, he made up that balsa sucking table didn't he which is really good so he can turn it on I think I think yours went through a vacuum cleaner Chris didn't it didn't just vent straight out the open air I would vent it straight out via a 
extractor fan I think straight out into the open air I have got a window just in front of me here but the trouble with windows is you open them and all it does is to blow all the uh, dust straight back in I was thinking more for the likes of my uh, um, aeroplanes which are sort of stored in here more than my lungs I know I should think more I try not to sand too heavily in here just these small amounts but even these small amounts floats up and around in the air and and it's amazing how much it settles on the aeroplanes oh look at that straight in so it's sticking up slightly there because of the main spot I'll just take a little bit out from under there there we go tuck it under okay so there we are it's the second piece in that's looking solider is that a word solider more solid as we go um it's quite hard wood this because i wanted it hard because it's over the main spar but to be honest i don't think it makes any difference just wondering if i ought to put this bit here might be prudent but I think I've got plenty of this I've got plenty of 330 seconds so almost certainly I'll find a bit that's hard enough let's just cut the next piece uh, I want to cut it about four mil on that side so I'm going to keep going here guys there's no more thought presses processes to tell you about I'm going to keep going here and I'll come back to you perhaps when I start putting some probably put white glue on it actually you can see how hard it is because it's a new blade and uh, taking a few swipes okay see you back soon okay. we'll just pause pilot Robert there a minute and have a look at this I've just done this side for the minute so let's get it in uh, won't be a lot of glue to put on the top end because oh, I'll be a bit there because um, it's in thin air between these stringers uh, put a bit down here we can put a little bit on the face and in here now this is end grain so I'm going to put a good dollop in there and I'll do the edge when I come to put the next bit in right there we go so it's the first piece in I'm going to put that special clamp uh, back on down there because it's a nice big wide one which is um, the only one I got <laughs> which is like this not sure what it was off of but pulled in nice so the vest holds itself down pretty much under the stringer Let's put the next piece in <clears throat> good to get all the innards covered up now isn't it Well, it's down. That'll be fine. So I'll do the same on the other side. And when that in, I'll come back to you and we'll sort of shape it up a little bit, see how it looks. But that is looking. Wow. That is looking really lovely, isn't it? Right then guys, there we go. That's all the panelling on. In fact, I think that's all the good work done. Incidentally, if you need to get a server out, as you can see, I've put the uh, connectors right up here. 
So if I ever need to change a servo, unscrew the bottom and remove the servo from the plywood using a bit of heat and IPA, isopropyl alcohol. Uh, that was an idea given to me by Nick of the Baron Flights. Uh, so well done Nick for that. I'll link to Nick's channel in the description and you can click on that and see what he's up to. Hinge, I've got to hinge the alons really before I cover them. So that's what I'll do. And then it's down to covering. So I'm going to cover it with doculum, all the open structure, and then tissue it and then spray it the correct colour. Okay guys, see you later. Cheers. Okay guys, welcome back. Uh, I've done a little bit of work off camera. Um, I had a couple of phone calls to make so um, while I was on the phone I just carried on sanding and preening. One thing I have done is to fit a dowel at the front of the hatch. Just a little tiny stub dowel, no big deal. It goes in a little hole there and then I'll have a magnet at the back. To keep it usable I cut a, a disc of a polythene uh, just keep it on there, keeps the air from the filler, keeps it nice and soft. Might need two applications, these things usually do. But as I'm going to tissue it as well, I might get away with one. Let's see. Let's go around here. So I'm going to carry on here, guys, and I'll, I'll see you back later when I've done something, whenever that something is. So there's your hatch. On there and on there. A lovely solid clunk. And to get it off, just got to oh, just give it a bit of pull. Look. I took these in a little bit more actually, the cheeks. I just Feathered them in a bit, just didn't, they looked a bit chunky, looked a bit better now. So, yeah, just gonna do this other control horn, and then eventually, at last, I can get round to covering, which I've been saying for the last few videos, really. Okay, I think that'll do. So, I'm gonna take that off. I'm going to glue that on. Uh, I'm not going to put the horn in yet because I like to cover it and everything and then I can just push the horn in with some glue so keep that one out. Just for good measure I'm going to stick it on with white. It gives me time to place it in. Okay, cut the bits of C8 to hold it. While it dries, and that is a wrap for all the building. I think, guys, I think we are done. Not a very long video this week. I haven't got onto the covering. I've had a very busy week, uh, so we just have to take what I've done and uh, lump it. This is the end of part five so I'll see you in part six where I'm going to start the covering and I'm taking my time as I do it. So as usual guys thanks very much for watching. I'll uh, link to the playlist just here and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. If you're not a member have a look at the memberships. If you're not a subscriber hit that subscribe button and give it a thumbs up. Cheers guys, thanks for watching.